Okay. All right. My name is Mike Sterwald, head coach of the Chicago Bandits. I've been with the organization for four years, uh, two years as an assistant coach, and this is my second year as head coach with the team. Um, I've participated in roles such as um, outfield, and now I'm directing the infield, as well as working with the pitching staff. I did. I played baseball for four years in college up in Wisconsin, and then I uh, got involved with high school softball, um, coached three years of college baseball, and then um, moved back to the pro softball league, and then also college softball, both at the JC level and Division One level. Um, the one thing I always say the biggest difference between coaching girls and guys is you, the females make you a better coach because they always need to know a why as to what you're doing and a purpose behind it. Um, I usually tell people, like, I can go tell a guy to run 10 laps and he thinks I'm just pissed off at him. You know, a girl, I, I might have to tell her to run 10 laps, but there better be a good reason why she's running those 10 laps. So, um, and other than that, you know, the biggest thing is just the speed of the game. You know, there's less time or less room for air in softball. You know, if you bobble a ball in baseball in the infield, you still have time to recover and make the out. In this game, if you bobble a ball, she's safe every time. I think the biggest thing is just the different personalities you get from every angle. I mean, we have girls from all across the country, you know, girls from West Virginia, from California, from Florida. So they come from different backgrounds, not just the schools they went to, but how they were raised. And so trying to mold them to fit with our Bandits family and how they complement and fit each other and their roles on the team, how they gel together. You know, all these girls, I tell them, none of them are used to sitting the bench. They've been the best player on the team since they were five years old and they, you know, have never sat the bench probably their entire life until they get here. So dealing with failure and learning to adjust to that role is a huge thing in helping us be successful. It's, a, it's really a combination of both. Um, you know, our, our players, have a lot of them have played at high levels, so they've been put through a lot of pressure situations already. But from our standpoint as a coaching staff, we try and continue to put them in those roles where practice is usually the toughest thing they have, um, trying to put them in every situation they'll face, and then, you know, probably putting them in situations in practice where they fail a little bit because that way when it comes to game situations they've already been through it. But also from the standpoint of, you know, you, as a coach you learn to read your players a little bit and you know the season's short so you got to learn our players quickly but you know our girls, um, you know, you learn, you learn which ones you can kind of get in their face a little bit and challenge them and you know you learn which ones you kind of got to prod, you know, and, and push with a little more positivity and, and encourage them on a daily basis. So really just trying to get a read on the players and where they're at physically, emotionally, and mentally and helping them get to where they need to be. Um. You know, don't ever be afraid uh, to do everything. Um, I, I think one of the best things I was ever told is don't be afraid to push the mop, you know, as a coach. Don't be afraid, nothing's too big for you. You know, picking up balls, um, running off copies, doing charts, all those little things. Um, you know, when I started off, you, you look at it as a coach and you're like, I really have to do this, but you know, you get to it and you realize all those little things kind of help prepare you for your organization and where you need to be as a coach. Um, we just appreciate all the fans that support the NPF. You know, it's been a great season, especially here in Chicago. Last weekend, having 2,000 fans each of the last two games. Um, we're really excited about where we're going with things and having a new dome in this facility here. Um, just looking to continue to increase our fan base, and we appreciate the support they've given us so far.